What Steve Harvey's biological children just revealed about their mother dumping their father. Is that true? Is Steve Harvey in a tense marriage right now? We will see. Marjorie Elaine, wife of Steve Harvey, is a lovely lady. Nothing, not even outrageous accusations of adultery, could shatter her because of her elegance. Marjorie Harvey has been the subject of many unfounded rumors lately. Everything started when specific rumors said she cheated on Steve with her cook and bodyguard. If that weren't enough, she was also accused of being the reason why his first marriage to Mary Shackleford failed. All of this wasn't true and the comedian has since repeatedly defended his wife while debunking all bizarre rumors. The woman I married is a good woman, Steve said about Marjorie on September 11, 2023, an episode of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. She, the best thing that ever happened to me. She's God-fearing, she's loyal, she's faithful, and she's kind and a loving person. I don't care what nobody says, and y'all quit talking about how she was in my other marriage and ruined it. She didn't. She was nowhere around that. The comedian claimed that after divorcing Marilee in 2005, he began dating Marjorie after that year. The two later got married in 2007. The fact that she didn't marry him for money was also made obvious by him. Additionally, Steve emphasized that rumors regarding his relationship with Marjorie would not break them but rather strengthen them. Marjorie, on the other hand, criticized the rumors as well and posted a screenshot of an article from a website titled How to Handle Being Lied About to Instagram. My husband and I don't usually stop to address all of this foolishness and lies that have been spread about us, she clarified. Now, Steve Harvey's biological children have revealed something seriously shocking. The four biological children of Steve Harvey are Carly, Brandy, Broderick Jr., and Winton. In 1982, Steve's first marriage gave birth to twins Carly and Brandy, beginning his adventure as a parent. They have developed into successful businesswomen, with Carly running a fashion line and Brandy running a nonprofit organization. After that, in 1991, Roderick Jr. entered the world. He is the director of a production firm called East 112th Street Entertainment today. Last but not least, Winton Harvey was a child of Steve's second marriage and was born in 1997. He has shown off his musical prowess by effectively managing his band. The Emmy Award winner also became the adoptive father to his wife's three children, Morgan, Lori, and son Jason, even though the couple doesn't have any biological children of their own. Contrary to Harvey's beliefs, his four biological children strongly think that Marjorie has used their father for his immense wealth. They do not even have a healthy relationship with their stepmom. Again, there is something else we need to disclose. Unlike what Steve had told before, his and Marjorie's relationship began way too early as 2005. His children already had some doubts regarding Marjorie's motives. Harvey and Marjorie first crossed paths in 1990. At first sight itself, Steve had got feelings for her, but she didn't reciprocate the same. Maybe the reason was Harvey's financial status at that time. He was just a struggling comedian. While Marjorie already had higher status in terms of both men and money, Marjorie's ex-husband, Jim Townsend, is the biological father of her children, Morgan and Jason. Townsend's activities were highly secretive, hence mostly illegal. His attempt to acquire 40 kilograms of cocaine, which became headlines, and some speculated that even Marjorie must have had some hand in it. Her then-husband got imprisoned after a guilty plea. During his prison time, pregnant Marjorie filed for a divorce instead of staying strong with her husband. So, there are no doubts about her involvement. Then, Darnell Woods adorned her marriage life. He is the biological father of Lori. Unfortunately or accidentally, we don't know how to describe it. Lori's father was also linked with some drug deals. This time also, her husband went to prison. She did not wait for her husband's release but divorced him too. There was a stable graph till then in Marjorie's marriage life. Marriage, children, drug deal accusations, imprisonment, and then divorce. Of course, her questionable past is standing tall between Steve's four children and Marjorie. They assume Marjorie might have some ultimate goals to cover with the help of Steve's millions. Brandy was the one to react at first. She pointed out that Marjorie was not ready to give Steve Harvey a chance while he was still struggling. Then one more was found suspicious. Marjorie used to keep contact with Steve's bodyguard more than she would with Steve. But Steve came to the rescue as he said it was his bodyguard who introduced him to Marjorie. He even quoted his bodyguard's words, The only time I ever saw you truly happy was when you were with that woman, Marjorie. 
After Marjorie stepped into his life, he never spared any expense for her. He strongly supported her luxurious lifestyle. Even in one of his talk shows, he finally admitted this indeed. So Steve's biological children had no way but to be nice to their stepmother. Still within their hearts, they have a distance from her. Steve had previously revealed that his daughters were not okay with this marriage in 2007. Also, his gesture of adopting her children and giving his surname and space in his will have surely disturbed them. Although they objected, Steve decided to go by all means because he was the one paying for them and thought their views didn't matter. His sons, on the other hand, appeared to be more understanding of the circumstances. The situation didn't end there. Steve's close confidence suspected that Marjorie may have also manipulated events so that her children came first rather than Steve's legitimate children. For instance, Broderick, Steve's son, revealed that he had an extremely difficult relationship with Steve until he turned 16. I didn't really have my dad around full-time in my life until I was 16. Although Steve fulfilled his child support obligations, it was quite surprising that he didn't make a concerted effort to be actively involved in his son's life during the first 16 years. His other kid, Winton, was in a situation that was much more challenging. His mother said that Steve had been impolite to Winton after his parents, Steve and Mary, split. She alleged that Steve had repeatedly hit the boy, causing visible wounds. But when it came to Marjorie's children, the relationships were noticeably different. Steve seemed more than ready to take on the role of an ideal stepfather. He took glory on frequent father-daughter outings, which always included a special yearly trip to her preferred Japanese restaurant. Throughout these times, Steve publicly encouraged her and informed her of his unwavering love and dedication no matter what happened. Evidently, Steve hadn't ever done this with his daughters, and it had always given them an unpleasant taste in their palates. In particular, because of Lori's rising reputation and her prominent love life, which have brought a lot of attention to her. There were rumors that Marjorie was thinking of divorcing Steve and taking half of his assets as well. But Steve quickly denied these rumors, and on Instagram, Marjorie dealt with these rumors as well. She continued by implying that the accusations of cheating were baseless. My husband and I usually don't take the time to address all the unfounded gossip and falsehoods that circulate about us. However, as the saying goes, to whom much is given, much is required. I understand that my platform carries a certain responsibility, especially towards those who may not have the same strength as we do. Marjorie's strong concentration on monetary gain has made the kids aware that she may be harsh in any prospective divorce procedures. It's also important to note that Steve and Marjorie didn't sign a prenuptial contract before getting hitched. So if she goes for a divorce, she can loot him. That's a lot of news in one video. Like and share it for more. Comment down what you think about this whole stuff. See you. Bye.